Welcome. In the previous video, we have seen how to represent a vector, unit vector, vector algebra. So in today's video, we are continuing with the vector algebra. We are going to learn how to multiply two vectors. So when you multiply two vectors, two products are possible. Okay, the product can be scalar or vector. So based on the product, multiplication of vectors are classified into two. Dot product, which is also known as a scalar product, and cross product, which is also known as vector product. So first, let us touch upon dot product or scalar product. So if two vectors are given, namely a vector, okay, and B vector. If these two vectors are given, then the dot product okay, is defined as the product of magnitude of A vector and magnitude of B vector and cosine of smallest angle between them. I will repeat, dot product or scalar product is defined as the product of magnitude of the first vector, that is here A vector and magnitude of second vector that is b vector and cosine of smallest angle between them. So if you have a vector and b vector lying on the same plane something like this okay if this is a vector and this is b vector then they are separated by some angle theta for example okay so this is the smallest angle of separation between them okay which is acute angle so if if there was an angle here okay so this will be the largest angle so we are not considering sorry uh, we are not considering the largest angle okay from here to here so this will be the largest angle so we are not considering that we are considering the smallest angle okay cosine of smallest angle so how we write it we write the dot product as a dot b okay it is written as a dot b a dot b so a dot b from the definition a dot b is given as magnitude of a vector right multiplied by magnitude of b vector and cosine of smallest angle between them okay so cosine of smallest angle between them. so this is the definition of dot product so we have already explained right we have already discussed how to find magnitude of a how to find magnitude of b so your duty is just to find what is the cosine of the smallest angle between these two vectors if you know that we can easily calculate what is the dot product Okay, so to make this concept more clear, let us consider general representation of A vector and general representation of B vector. Okay, so how A vector is defined generally? So A vector is written as, okay, in three dimension, AX, AX cap, right, AX, AX cap plus AY, AY cap plus AZ, as it can. Okay. Then, how is B vector written? B vector can be written as Bx Ax cap, right? Plus By Ay cap By Ay cap plus Bz Az cap. So, sometimes Okay, few students get confused here with the representation of this. They write bx, bx cap, by, by cap. Okay, but while defining unit vector, yeah, I already told that we'll we'll represent the unit vector using small a cap. Right? Small a cap is the symbol used for representing unit vector, and we just change the 
suffix according to the coordinate system which we are using right so here we have x y z so here will, the unit vector will remain a x cap a y cap it doesn't have any relation with this capital a please remember that okay so don't make mistake while writing b vector so now we need to find a dot b so what is a dot b a dot okay i'll write this vector a dot b so how to find a dot b so this entire vector dot this entire vector right so ax x cap plus ay ay cap plus az az cap right az az cap this dotted with okay dotted with bx ax cap plus by ay cap plus bz az cap so this is how we represent a dot b right now when i do the dot product okay so i have to it's like normal multiplication i have to multiply the first term with all the three terms okay then i have to multiply the second term with all the three terms so this will repeat for the third term also so i'll have ax right ax bx x cap dot x cap plus ax by x cap dot ay cap okay so let us write that. hope it's clear right so each term okay first term should be multiplied with all the three terms in the second vector okay so let us see how to write that So when I multiply, I get it as a x b x a x cap dot x cap. Okay. Don't miss that dot. Okay. It's the it's a small dot there. So a x b x x cap dot x cap plus a x b y x cap dot a y cap. I just follow okay each term multiplication okay it's very straight forward then i have ax bz ax cap dot az cap okay so similarly i can write the remaining terms so i have completed multiplication of the dot products so we'll end up with this many equations now how to proceed with it how to how to solve this x cap dot okay this is just magnitude you know right the magnitude coefficient so x b x x b y okay they, they will give me the direct value if this is 2 and this is 3 2 into 3 6 i'll get okay this is 3 this is 3 3 into 3 9 i'll get so The problem here is finding how to solve this x dot x cap x dot y cap x dot z cap. So everywhere I have this y cap dot okay y cap dot y cap y cap. In every term, okay, I have this. Now we should know how to solve this, right? Now in a three-dimensional coordinate system, first you should understand. how much is the angle difference between x cap ay cap and z cap then only we can solve this okay why i am saying then only we can solve this because we will extend the idea of dot product to this equation okay what i mean is what is x cap dot x cap will be the magnitude of x cap the magnitude of second vector again x cap so x cap magnitude dot x cap magnitude cosine of smallest angle between them so since x cap and x cap okay uh, this if this is your x cap you have another x cap over that okay so both x cap both will be x cap the angle between them will be zero okay so x cap dot x cap 
okay, will be magnitude of x cap, magnitude of x cap, cosine of smallest angle between them. So, what is magnitude of unit vector? 1, right? Magnitude of unit vector is 1. That's why the name unit vector. So, 1 into 1 into cos theta. Theta is 0, right? Because both are in same, same line, x cap, along x direction. So, there is no angle between them. Angle between them is 0. So, what is cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. So, this becomes 1. Okay? Now, this is true for x cap dot x cap. It is true for ay cap dot ay cap and it is true for az cap dot az cap also. Okay? Now, the problem reduces to or reduces in find in finding what is x dot cap x by cap, x dot, right, az, means two different unit vectors, okay, two different unit vectors lying in different directions, if I find the dot product, what is the answer, if I know that, I can easily solve this equation, okay, I hope x cap dot x cap is very clear, okay, how I am getting it one, okay, now to understand how to find x cap dot ay cap, you should know what is the angle between unit vectors in three coordinate system okay so well, let us first discuss that so see this diagram so here i have here i have a x cap right <coughs> i have taken x x in this direction so this is my x cap this is my a y cap and this is my a z cap okay now each one of them okay is lying in different plane Okay, so we call this okay back end of this as z y plane. Okay, back end of this as z y plane. This area, right? This area base of this will be x y plane. Getting x y plane. Then the side. Okay, my side. Okay, this this will be x z plane. Agree? So, they are lying in three different planes. I hope it's very clear. It's lying in three different planes. Each unit vector is lying in three different planes. So, what will be the angle between them, angle difference between them? Okay, so can you can you guess what is the angle here? What is the angle here? This angle. Angle between x cap and a y cap. 90 degree, right? What will be the angle between this and this? 90 degree, what will be angle between this? Because since they are in different plane, okay, the angle between them is 90 degree. Okay, I hope it's very clear. So, the angle between x cap and a y cap is 90 degree, angle between a y cap and a z cap is also 90 degree. Similarly, the angle between a z cap and a x cap is also 90 degree. So, if it is 90 degree, if it is 90 degree, then what you will get? What will be ax cap dot ay cap or in that matter any two unit vector lying in two different planes if I find the dot product what by definition it is ax cap magnitude ay cap magnitude cosine of smallest angle between them. So since it's unit vector this magnitude is 1 this magnitude is 1. Okay, don't confuse with the, this cross mark. Okay, I'm just showing that I'm multiplying it. Okay, 1 into 1. Okay, it's actually 1 dot 1. Then I'm multiplying it with cosine of smallest angle between them. Which is the smallest angle between them? 90 degree. See, not just now we have seen. The angle between them is 90 degree. So, what is cos 90? It is 0. So, this goes to 0. So, x cap dot a y cap goes to 0. Is very clear? That means, in this particular equation, right, in this particular equation, this term goes to 0 because x dot a y cap is 0. Similarly, this is 0. Okay? Okay, this, so that will be 1. And this is 0. This is 0. This is 0. Right? And a z cap dot a y cap is also 0. So, now what remains? Okay, only x dot x cap, a y dot a y cap and a z dot a z cap term remains. But I know that x dot x cap is 1. 
you have shown here, right? And this also one. This is also one. So this is one. This is one, and this is one. So what remains? So if I find the dot product of a dot b, what remains? Only the magnitude remains, right? So if I write a vector dot b vector, what remains is a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. Is very clear. So we started with a vector represented as x x cap plus a y a y cap plus a z a z cap, and b vector as b x a x cap plus b y a y cap plus b z a z cap, right? And when we find the dot product, finally we end up a dot b vector as only the multiplied values of their coefficients or their magnitude only. Getting so. For example, if a x is okay, therefore just for better understanding, three b x is two, okay, because they are just magnitudes, right? Two, and a y is one, b y is three, okay, some value for that matter, two, and this is four, okay. If I find a dot b, means what I mean to say is a vector is three a x cap plus one a y cap plus two a z cap, and b vector is B x x cap, so two x cap plus B y is three a y cap plus four a z cap. If I do the dot product, I'll get six plus three plus eight, right? So nine plus eight, seventeen. What does it say? So if I find the dot product of two vectors, I end up with a scalar value, seventeen, right? Seventeen is just a single value; it doesn't ha have any direction. That's why this is known as a scalar product. So dot product is also known as scalar product for this reason, because when you find the product, you end up with a scalar value. You end up with a product which is scalar. It's a product. You end up with scalar value. It's very clear. So similarly, we need to understand what is vector product.